This is a beginner's guide to using flash in your food photography. I'm going to keep this fairly simple and I'm going to use a really big light source replacing window light with a very large softbox. My personal favourite is the Lastelite Large Octa Pro. So I'm going to be shooting a winter kale salad. So we have our food selected, we have our light source selected. Now I'm thinking about what props we're going to use. And I'm going to be using this beautiful bowl with this little detail and we're going to build the salad in this bowl. I'm going to suggest we put our camera on a tripod. One of my particular favorite tripods is the Manfrotto 055 with the X-Pro3 head. I'm going to reduce the ambient as much as possible, which means using a faster shutter speed. So we'll dial into the camera, 1 1 80th of a second, ISO 100, f4.5. Now we have our camera settings set in, we need to bring in the light. The simplest way to get started is, for example, to put your flash at half power. If it's too bright, turn it down. If it's too dark, turn it up. All the different elements of the salad, we are going to strategically place around the dish so that you can see all of the different elements, but they don't look too contrived and placed. So just being a little careful about where you place the different elements on the dish and how you drizzle on the salad dressing will help you make your photograph pop. One of the biggest bonuses to using flash is you get to reposition the light to get different looks. If you find your shadows are too dark, you'll need to bring in a reflector to bounce some of that light back in. The last light halo reflector comes with me everywhere. It's super quick to set up and it packs down really small. And all that's left for you to do is give these images a little bit of editing. A bit of contrast, colour, sharpening, maybe tweak the shadows a little and you're good to go.